You know, I appreciate the enthusiasm. I wish you guys the best of luck with your podcast. You know, good luck with the vlog. Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to the channel. Me and the boys are here in Moomoo's. We just wrapped up another great pod. We just had our first boxer on, Archie Sharp. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube. If you're not subscribed to the podcast YouTube already, Graph Kings podcast, link on the screen, link on the description. Make sure you get into that. It's unbelievable podcast. One of the best in the UK. It will be the biggest in the UK soon. Trust me on that one. Right guys, it is random as fuck. The reason why I'm doing this video is we've just finished this pod and we've just gone, you know what, fuck it, let's go to book a rest this weekend. It's Tuesday. We're going to book a rest on Saturday. We've just booked our flights, booked our accommodation, and we're going to get the Tate Brothers on the pod. They don't know it yet. They don't know we exist. But you know what? You've got to try these things in life. And we've all been about action and actually applying it. So you know what? We're saying let's try and go and get them. They're the most high profile people on the planet right now. How are we going to get them? We don't actually know. We, we can potentially find a link in there somewhere, I'm sure we can. We've now got management as well. So Grace, if you're there, you're gonna try and help us get Tate. I know you've got the contacts somehow, so we're gonna try, try our best. We're gonna, it's random, guys. We're taking you with us. We want you guys on this journey with us. We're doing it for you boys. We're doing it for us boys. If we land Tate on the podcast, I swear to God, I'll punch one of these boys in the face. I swear to God. <laughs> but listen, guys. Next time you see me be in the airport, let's get to it. Let's go. <laughs> they see me in, I won't ever lose him, but I was just prepping myself yeah. for the win. If she brought a friend, beat up the pussy, then I go and cop in and hop in the bed. She yeah. won't music, but say it's confusing. Yes, people, so we have just got to London Luton Airport and we are waiting to board our flight to Bucharest, Romania. Like I said, most random, spontaneous trip of my life so far, probably, considering what we're trying to achieve. We're flying with Wizz Air, like a bunch of brokies. But we've got a nice penthouse when we get there to make up for it, and then we'll catch up then with our plan of action. Let's go. I'm an athlete. What we chucked up? I just know I'm an athlete, Joe. You tell me I know. Translation, Mark. I don't think we can get away with translating. I'm gonna get with it on my way back to the bit. Hey, 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 hey. Weather's good. Weather's good. Land in Romania. I'm Bucharest. Check into the penthouse. Straight top G's house. I <laughs> love that. Good flight, mate. A bit nervous in that flight. A little bit rocky, mate, yeah, yeah, a little bit rocky. I'm not sure where the pilot got his license, but I'm not sure he was in the aviation school, all right? <laughs> What's the weather like? Fucking boiling, mate, and I mean all in black. Lovely. Thank, uh, you. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. It's a Bruce business, nice. Yes. <laughs> How are you feeling, Loz? Alright, brother. It's fucking nice, hot. Ready for the day. What have we got planned? Oh, we've got a plan, go check in, settle in, make a plan of action, probably eat some food and then lip some tin. This is one thing. The most important thing, the whole thing we come here for. Grass house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, cut that out. <laughs> Keep that in. Keep yeah. that in. I'll do it. I'll do your job for you. What are we driving, Kevin? It's five floors. Come on, big man. Do you want to do it? You won't be able to get that Move in. Move that in, please. Behind you. Are you going to get in with us? No fucking way am I getting in there. What floor is it? What's the max load in this? Three it doesn't matter, just risk it. Take the elevator to the fifth floor, I'll take it See you there, bye! If we get stuck... <laughs> there's a big possibility. It's a very, very tight lift. It is, mate. We're too fucking wedged to be in there. We are. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, people, so we have just checked into our pad here in Bucharest, Romania. We, uh, well, let's say Merck booked us a penthouse, but it's not the typical penthouse that I was expecting when I walked in. It's clean, it's nice, it does the job, but I was thinking of something a little bit more luxurious. Thanks a lot, Merc. I don't know why I keep trusting bookings though, I don't know what I'm doing. So the plan of action right now, guys, is we're gonna jump in an Uber and make our way to Andrew and Tristan Tate's house. We have a gift for them both. So the Graph Kings have just teamed up with a company called Slink. Slink is your digital business card, and it's exactly that. It's a card, it's the same size as a debit or credit card, fits nicely into your wallet, and it can have any of your socials on it, all of your socials on it. Your Twitter, your Instagram, your TikTok, your number, your email, whatever you want, you can personalize it as much as you want. We're honored to be partnering up with Slink. Great guys, these cards are fully personalized 
to the Tate brothers. I'll, I'll go for them right now. So we found out what Andrew Tate's business card that he actually has in his wallet right now is, what message it has on it, what kind of style of writing, color theme, everything, and we've replicated it. But this one is a digital business card, and I'm sure he's gonna like it. So nice little touch. Thanks once again, Slink, for hooking us up with these unreal business cards. Hopefully we can meet them. That is the aim. Actually, the aim is to get them on the podcast. We've got all the pod gear here with us. If we secure this pod, like I said, I'll smack one of these boys in the face and <laughs> we'll see what happens. But even if we just meet these guys and we secure it for another time, we're cool with that. We're always gonna see what Romania's got to offer. Let's go. Il était bon, le temps basané, le regard timide, les mains tout abîmées. Me and the boys have just got out the cab and we're walking down the stretch to his house. I'm not gonna expose where he lives out of respect, keep that on the down low. But yeah, man. I'm nervous and excited, all rolled into one. Let's see what happens. We weren't too bad, I don't think. Well. Happy? Day, yeah, they've got our gifts that yeah. we had, so big up Slink for sorting that out for us. It's a stepping stone, isn't it? Mm. Like, we've got our foot through the door, they know who we are. Whether it's today, tomorrow, the next day, we're going to get there. So and I think they'll there. appreciate that gift as well. 100%. Yeah. Once we push the security guard was cool. It's the thought and effort that we went into that they'll appreciate. Man. It might be the security guard in a bath for us, to be honest. I was having a little expectation. It was just going to come out and start swinging. Yeah, he was cool. He let us take a photo outside the front as well. He saw, he saw we were there for genuine reasons. Yeah. There's they not... know we're here now, boys. That's the main thing. And this could be the stepping stone towards the next step, right? Yeah. There's no negative outcome for this. Oh. Mad, oh, tell the audience, the viewers, what happened when we left. That car oh mate! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the car drove past us, and we thought it was Andrew Tate. Yeah. Jesus was identical to him. Glasses, Bald head, beard, how, how everything. Did feel when that comes through? <laughs> and and no, because we waved. We waved at him, and he stopped and started reversing, <laughs> and we were like, and was like, "No fucking way!" That was crazy. Like, it was it was Andrew from fucking Wish, so it wasn't him. <laughs> he even said, "What did he say?" I'm not him. I'm not him. I'm bottom G. No one is doing what we're doing right now. No podcast in the UK is doing what we're doing. Just picking up our shit, trying ourselves. You've got to be in it to win it. No risk. No story. No, no reward. No risk, no story. No risk, no reward. Of course. We've got the top G's of our beef We'll get the top G of the world soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah. Yes, people. So some good news. Tristan Tate has agreed to do a podcast with us. He's been in direct contact with our manager, Grace, over WhatsApp. I'll put the chats on the screen now. And he said he will do it, but just not now, and not in Romania. As you can imagine, the boys are very apprehensive about meeting us. They don't know who we are. To them, we are no ones. We're just some random guys on the YouTube doing a podcast. We could be anyone, right? I fully get it. And the fact that he's even agreed to do a podcast with us, and I've got that on text to our manager, that's a W. That would have never happened if we didn't come to Romania. That only happened because we made this trip. We had no plan, no structure, nothing set in stone. We come here on a whim, with boys with ambition, and it's paid off. Yes, we didn't get to see him now, but to even have that dialogue is mad. It's Saturday night, me and the boys are here till Monday night. We're gonna go make the most out of Romania. They've got a great nightlife, they've got some good spas, shooting ranges, let's go. You say you my nigga, you say we thugs, niggas is mad bitter Baby, I'm that nigga, smoking no air, 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 gas hitter Grandma stay peeping on the zombie, this will ever be with the zombie Boys, this is to us Wait one sec, let me grab mine To actually having the balls to take the risk to come to Romania And to our futures Amen, to the Amen, moon, boys, to the moon Boys, they need their Kali, and you wit like Susanna She got kid like Tsunami, uh, uh we down by time and it's order yeah. I take my bitch cross borders yeah. You shots on me for a million I got niggas that kill for a quarter If this hit me, you so up Got a team pussy shit like Doja You shots on me for a million I got niggas that kill for a quarter Girl, yeah, half from a team with IQ Been to hell and back just to wife you Remember I was getting blam in high school I've been in the West, 
Uh, uh. You're not Jacobs. Uh, uh. You're by ten minutes order. I take my bitch cross borders. You shot at me for a million. But I need that kill for a quarter. Yes, people. So, me and the boys had a very, very heavy night last night. We drunk untold amounts. Not gonna lie to you, a lot of good, lot of good birds about, but most of them are stush. Um, we didn't really have too much luck with any women, which is a bit disappointing. Eastern European game's different. It is different. It's not like England. Like, we're, we're dropping game and dropping riz, and it, we weren't really getting anywhere. Difficult. Character oh, yeah. building. Tell you what. Like, yeah, it was humbling. I was just about to say, it's been a humbling experience. Yeah. yeah. I went to me, I went, you speak English, you went, no, I don't. I went, you just spoke to me in English, Fucking <laughs> hell. So, yeah, it's a bit of a humbling experience for the Graf Kings, but it is what it is. Got to take your L's. That's how you learn, that's how you we grow. We live to fight another day. Yeah, we live to fight another day. Mason said he's not going out tonight, but I bet we can persuade him. We might aim for a bit lower, four out of ten, see where we get. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, New York cabin. I've had untold okay. amounts of messages from people on Instagram. I mean, untold amounts. I've never had this. My, my DMs have never blown up this much because of the story we put up on the. Um, Your wife sent me DMs, baby. <laughs> from the story we put up on my uh, on my Instagram outside Tate's house. And all of you guys have just been blowing up my DMs. You guys obviously want to see us interview Tate. And we're going to try and make it happen. We've actually had a message from Tristan this morning. Um, confirming he wasn't actually in yesterday. We have, um, we've asked our manager to speak to Tristan. And see if we can maybe pop our heads in later on today. Or tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. We don't know what's going to go on. We are now just heading back to the apartment. We're going to get ready and head to the spa. One of the, I think it's the largest spa in the whole of Europe. It's got how many water slides? 21. 21 water slides. Where the camp when they get enough stuff? On a water slide? Well, not by one of us. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going, bye. <laughs> Smells like Mason's ass. <laughs> 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 Somebody come take a look at this. Mm -hmm. I feel Zen just walking in it. Do you know what I mean? What in it? Who doesn't watch Jurassic Park? Salt, yeah, man. In it. In there. Dine it, Oz. Yeah, Ozzy, come sign this. Come sign your life away, please. Basically, you're saying you're going to give yourself a given new organs. I haven't got much anyway. You've got no organs? Well, too much. Basically. Hey, Tim. When the boys leave the pub, yeah? This is how we'll live one day, humans. We won't go outside. We'll have all this in one place. You won't be able to travel to different cities. We won't be able to travel on a plane. You won't have a normal job, you'll live in a little weird utopia like this. Can't wait. Shaking all the same rat leaves. So me and the boys have been on the slides for about two, three hours. The water park here is unreal, I can't lie. I've not been able to film anything because they confiscated my, my phone. Not confiscated it, but told me to put my phone and my camera away, which is a shame. But I'm going to try and film now. On one of the slides. Film now. Film now. Film now. Operation, try and get into this little cubby hole. There's a cubby hole down here. I'm going to try and get into it and drag the boys in. Fucking hell. Cool. I'll get caught. Cool. Get cool. Sink with those bad boys. And I've got a massage book for uh, the rules. We'll find them. Yeah. And I've got a massage book for half six. I kind of want to go to that. So I've got to be as discreet as possible. But as you can guys see, 
So it's very beautiful on the right hand side. There's a swim up bar where you can go get drinks. Boys, what are we getting to drink? Pina colada. Yeah, don't know. Ooh, four pina coladas. Sounds lovely. Yeah. 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 Go on. So we've got these girls over here that are trying to do a little Instagram video. And Oz is going to try and fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, don't do it again, don't do it again. Don't. You know, do it again, oh, don't, 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 don't. Cheers, ladies. Bang it, innit? Cheers, girls. Cheers, Cheers boys. Cheers. Cheers, boy. Are you famous? We're YouTubers. We're YouTubers. Yeah. That's how they're doing Israel. I do acrobatic in the air for this Show me. Alright, you ready? Yeah, go on, girl. <laughs> what was your name? Zer Oklat. Zer Oklat. From Israel. It's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? 23 Ratley. 23 Ratley, yeah. 23 Israeli Ratley. You're a bit of a weapon, isn't it? Yeah. 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 It's too much. So this is the thing you just whizzed up. Oh wow! Nice kill. Yeah, not bad. Oh, Fuck lovely. it now. She actually does look like a photo as well, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> How's your woman's drink, mate? Going down really well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell everyone what you just ordered? It's fucking sweet, though. It's called a bubble gum. Fuck don't know if I could chew the fuck out of that, though. Exactly. <laughs> How do you order that? I thought it was going to be a dessert, bro. Blah, blah. Hey, it's a fucking dessert. It's a lump of bread with chocolate on it. Oh, man. <laughs> You've got chocolate spread on toast. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. What is happening? We've got a fucking early checkout now, unfortunately. We wanted Never. to do a... Um, Never we wanted to do a pod. Nice and uh, for a granny afternoon time, but unfortunately we're getting kicked out. Kicked so, out our place we might just do it on the streets of Romania, who knows? How will we actually going to do this? Uh, we had to improvise, adapt and overcome. We have to get up early, innit? I just said we don't open the door. And we said we took sleep yeah, time. Yeah, they did it wasn't here. They said the not to lose the key. So if we barricade ourselves in, <laughs> what are you going to do about it? We're on the top floor, what are you going to do? I'm not fucking leaving. We're, we're also going to make an attempt at Tate's house again, aren't we? We have to. One last attempt. I'm just knocking on the door just to make sure that they receive the gift that we've got. Very badly. I'm having a conversation here and you're bringing up women. I know, that's a worth of fucking stop the recording. I can't, I can't record it, but flash on. Wow. Yeah, we've got loads of um, flowers anyway, so maybe it's not for us. Oh, it's still for us, but anyway, back to the pod. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We got a bit carried away. We have to improvise. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're going to have to maybe wake up a bit earlier and get the, get the internal done. What time's our flight? Nine? Yeah, we've got all day. Yeah. Also, gun range, what were we saying? Definite gun range as well. Gun range? It should come naturally for if me. If you men do it first, I'll do it, innit? <laughs> it should come naturally for me, given my ethnicity anyway. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. <laughs> right, so what were we saying? A couple more of these and then shooting home or? More drinks and then we'll probably. Yeah, uh, we need to be sensible this evening. For once. For once. We'll see how that goes. the 11th of September. This is our last day here in Bucharest. We're currently walking down the road to Andrew and Tristan Tate's house with one last attempt of meeting them. The reason why we're attempting it again is because, the reason why we're attempting it again is because our manager, Grace, had a message of Tristan on Sunday, so yesterday, saying that they were unavailable and uh, they actually weren't in when we arrived. We're trying our luck one more time. We don't think we're going to get a pod, obviously, out of them now, uh, as we're going to the airport in a bit as well. But even if we get to meet them, shake the hand, maybe organise something for the future, then it's a W. Let's go. How you doing? You okay? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, man. Take lots of boys. 
Yes, people, what's going on? Thank you very much for making this far on the vlog. We have just got back from Andrew and Tristan Tate's house. It wasn't with the result that we wanted, but we still consider it as a W because we got more, we got more than we actually bargained for. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If we never done this trip, there's no we, expectations. Yeah, we, we had we come in with zero expectations. Obviously, we wanted to get them on the pod. We brought all the podcast gear with us, with the intention of having them on it. It was an ambitious goal as ours, of ours, sorry. But we're dreaming big. We're thinking big, and that's exactly how we're going to continue to grow. Getting out the comfort zone. Getting out the comfort yeah. zone. Trying new things. Get comfortable. No one else. With being it. uncomfortable. Yeah. No risk. No reward. All that good stuff. And if we never done this trip, well, first of all, you guys don't know. We just got a voice note directly from Tristan Tate to us, addressing us on exactly why he didn't come to the door or why he couldn't come to the door. Yeah. And what he said in that voice note, which I'll put on the screen now. Hello, gentlemen. Your friend has been in touch, obviously letting me know that you've come to my house and tried to get an audience with me. Um, you know, I appreciate the enthusiasm. I wish you guys the best of luck with your podcast. I'm actually not home. I'm in a business meeting out in the city at the moment. If by chance you happen to run into me, I'm happy to shake your hand. But naturally, I don't grant an audience to anybody who comes to my house. You know, at this uh, stage in my life, I have many credible death threats, threats against my life. My house is where I hang out with my children. It's a very sensitive place. And if you stood outside my house for long enough, you probably noticed two or three other people coming and showing up at the gate. It happens probably 25, 30 times a day. I'll never come out and meet anybody because once word gets around that I come out and shake hands or once there's a video of me coming out and speaking or talking to fans, it's just going to get much uh, worse for me. And obviously my home is my castle and this is where I like to live in peace. So best of luck with the podcast. You know, good luck with the vlog. You know, obviously it didn't work out coming to my house, but you know, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that's the case anyway. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time in Bucharest, guys. And, you know, as I said, if you run into me out in the city by chance, I'll, I'm happy to shake your hand. You can understand exactly why. I, we fully appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If he does it for us, he's, do you know how many other YouTubers would, or anyone for that matter would try their luck flying to Bucharest to beat the Tate brothers? They must have crazy fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. They think, fuck, we can actually, we, it's possible. These boys actually made it possible. So he's got a set of tone and we, we appreciate that. And we tried our luck and we're one step closer in my eyes. This podcast will happen. It's a so, stepping stone, definitely. Like we said though, isn't it? It's a stepping stone. This was a journey that we went on together. I'm glad we did it. We got to yeah. see Bucharest. Bucharest is beautiful. Uh, it's a country none of us have ever been to before as well. So I recommend it, yeah. yeah 100% recommend it. It's cheap and cheerful, mm. beautiful, it's hot, good women, even though none of us got lucky because <laughs> the women are stush, but that's another story. For Every time. gaff we went to for food was elite. Yeah, it was lovely. Lovely food. Love everything was good, so it was it wasn't yeah. a wasted trip. Tristan and Andrew know who we are. Yeah. We gave them, them personalized gifts as well. I don't think anyone else is doing stuff like that. No one, as far as I'm aware of, is doing what we're doing right now in this short space of time. We bear, bear in mind we have only the money that we earn from our jobs. We've got no sponsorship deals yet. We've got no money coming in from the pod really because YouTube doesn't pay that well considering the amount of views we've got. Yeah. So. Everything is self-funded. So if, imagine when we actually have got the funds to do proper the stuff. The levels we can go to, 100%. percent be silly. So guys, look, we're happy with the result. Thank you for being on this journey with us. Yep. And uh, yeah, let's see what the future's got. Let's for go. Show. Peace. This shit, yo, I'm going to fuck home. Roll on my shoulders as I run back to this eight mile road. I'm a man, I'm a make a new plan. Time for me to just stand up and travel new land. Time for me to just take matters into my own hands. Once I'm over these tracks, man, I'm going to never look back. And I'm going, I know right where I'm going. Sorry, mama, I'm grown. I must travel alone. Ain't gonna follow no footsteps, I'm making my own. Only way that I know how to escape from this eight mile road.